Okay, hello everyone, it's me, Paige of Maces. Why am I pressing those buttons? I don't know. Um, back on the decidedly vanilla server. Just currently cutting down a tree quickly. That's not the most exci exciting way to start an episode, but oh well. Shut up, cows. I thought I'd do something about my... Uh, various food problems and get some of the cows in this area to get inside a thing, but it is ridiculous. Her trying to get cows into a pen is it's ridiculous. It really is like herding cats. Cows are dumb. It's taken me about ten minutes off camera just to get them in there. And there was four in there at one point, and one has wandered off. Goodness knows where, I'm going to track him down and kill him. Because I can't be bothered to drag him in there again. Yeah, I hear you somewhere. Where'd you go? Ah, oh, there you are. My future fishing place. It sounded like he was saying no, but I didn't listen. Because I'm an evil, evil person. Uh, okay, right, first what we're going to do is we're going to sleep because at the moment I'm the only one on again. Uh, and then I can show you some of the stuff I have done. Uh, you may note that uh, I am currently not wearing anything that's iron apart from a pair of boots because I was caving off screen a couple of days ago. Uh, I'd been being really careful, I was traversing the bottom of a ravine, I was doing it with like sissy rails and stuff like that, but a rogue piece of water uh, came out of a thing that I was digging, knocked me off into the path of a creeper, who promptly exploded. What am I doing? Oh yes, I'm cooking smooth stone. Basically promptly exploded. Um, so all my stuff was either blown up or it got knocked into the water and got washed away. So when when I went back down there later it had completely vanished. Uh, I'm a bit I'm rather annoyed because I had some gold in there, I had more iron, I had almost yeah. full iron armour I had some lapis because I was going to dye some cow, um, cow's blue yes, you can now dye cows, you can't, I meant sheep so here is my little paddock for uh, for my cows, got a fence gate and stuff just over here, just to light this place up a bit more Moo to you too. Then over here we have some red sheep and my little wheat farm. I think I'm going to leave the sheep loose, mostly because they are they're all mostly different colours, and they all seem to be. Oh, I don't want to press that one. I wanted the wheat. Yes, stupid fingers slipping. It's nice to have uh, free range sheep because they are. They do need more space than cows. Well, in this game at least. Don't want to fall down there. What are you? Are you, are you red or are you brown? No, oh, you're a little brown sheep. Cute. Wait, hang on. Uh, yep, need to turn that into planks. Because I'm also going to show you quickly um, the start of a build project that I am now working on. I've not made much progress with it, I literally started doing it the other day and I need the web page up because it's fairly complicated and I am not a builder. Instead what I want to do today is try and find some diamonds. Because I want to show you guys what I've been working on in this cave. But I can't until I have a portal there. That's where my portal's going to be. 
and there's quite a good joke that I want to uh, I want to share with my fellow who decidedly vanilla people. So here we have the start of a windmill. I think I'm going to extend the foundation up one more, then I will start to start to um, make, start to put the wood down. What wood up? Wood up. And I will probably be doing that mostly off camera, just because I suck at building. But I'll, I'll probably do all the finishing touches, maybe little bits of it on camera, I'm not sure. I can't really do big builds live as it is. It's like, yeah, trying to talk and also place is not something I'm used to. There is weird lag going on. I'm also going to be following a picture as well, so I'll be needing to refer to that and all that kind of nonsense. So this build at least, I will probably not do much on camera. Okay, down one. Thank you. What are you doing there, Mr. Brick? Mr. Brick? Get out of there. Ouch. I will probably need to do the floor at some point and I have an idea for how I'm going to like oh well I'm gonna to try to do a, a wheel in the a grinding wheel in the middle. But seeing as it's quite small I don't think I've got enough space. So that's all things. Um that's more or less what I've done. I've just been trying to gather stuff. Um I also discovered that now I've started using sissy bars I really need to put two layers down otherwise I will just get killed by those little little baby zombies they are slowly becoming my nemeses when I thought it was skeletons that were my nemeses and before then I thought slimes were my nemeses right, let's just put this beef in there and let's put stuff in the chest. I found a crap ton of clay. There's loads in this little in this big river system. So I've been slowly smelting that together. So I've got some Where are all my bricks? Oh there they are. So I've got some bricks. I got some more iron. I was gonna make an iron sword, but I've got these stone swords and they're doing me okay at the moment. Uh Go just put that in there, that in there. Uh, right, hang on, let me just check. What armor am I missing? I'm missing a helmet. Oh, leather helmets don't do much. Probably be easier to get one off a off a thing, or go to Desi's, or uh, or and get one out of his skelly well. But I want to try and be as as what's it as possible. I know the word. Uh, Self-reliant. That's the one. Well, technically, that's two words. So rather than going into an established cave system, I think I'm just going to make a branch mine. So I'll just start it off. Already we're having success. Yes, George? You're all awake now. Okay, so we'll bring you back uh, when I find something interesting. Okay, right. Um, here I am, more or less at the bottom of the world. Uh, no diamonds on the way down. But I have basically dug like a preliminary tunnel down to just bedrock to see and then I've got two that I'm going to start branching off at at level 11 because I believe that and that level 10 is I think uh, someone was saying it's 
Level 12 and level 11 that are the best places to find diamonds. So if I start off here, then I should be able to find some. Because this takes in both 10 and 11. Hang on. Oh, uh, also my pick has completely run out. But I found loads of iron. Uh, there's more down there. And some redstone, although I am not so fussed with redstone. Uh, but it's only yeah, three off, because otherwise I'll forget it's there and you guys will moan go, Tanya, three off! Not that I think you talk like that, it's just, you know. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> uh, that's what I've done wrong. I better fill that in. There was iron down there as well. Filling that in so things don't spawn there. They'll have to ambush me when I'm on my stairs. Also this block of coal. Now I've got nothing to break it with so it's just going to have to stay there. I'm going to pop the 18 uh, iron into the furnace. Smelt that up. And go break down. Um, actually there was one thing I wanted to talk about as well. Uh, kind of doing this as a favour I offered and they didn't say no but um, for my viewers that remember that one episode I did on the aircon server I was talking about the podcasts I like and I mentioned the Racing Minds podcast it's started again it's now on episode 3 uh, episode 4 coming out on Wednesday I'm not sure what time but just late at night for uh, uh, for English people, obviously early in the day for non-English people. Um, so I just thought I'd give them a quick plug, because they are awesome and it's really funny. It's basically, their podcast is everything that they recorded at um, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, um, which is a 1950s style improvised radio play. Uh, and they get the audience to suggest uh, the name of the main character, the location where the climax will happen not literally, you know the 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 end, the climactic final scene, there's not always one of there's not always the other thing sorry, my mind is now just wandering in dirty places, get out uh, uh, the strange secret that the main character has and the title, so they can get very very varied things which adds to the hilarity um and of course it all gets meant it all, everything gets brought back up again uh, at the end so it's like you completely forget because they explain what they main, they explain everything at the start of the podcast and then you sort of kind of forget and, all, and wonder how on earth they're gonna get back to that or make that work and they manage to pull it off every time it's even when they get given an absolutely ridiculous just shut up stomach uh, you know, get ridiculous suggestions that don't really mix, but it's part of the fun. I will put links because they have uh, they've got stuff on sound. They put the podcast on SoundCloud now. Uh, it's up on iTunes, so I'll put links to that and to their website in the uh, in the video description. So I think that that's it now. Uh, plug over. Hope you guys decide to check them out. They they're English and they're very funny. So for people that like English humour, I suggest at least giving them a listen. So yeah. Now the uh now that I have awkwardly plugged them. Plugged the podcast, I mean. Oh my god. No. Sorry, my my brain is kind of scatty today. I've been having to go on this course that I've been sent on by the job centre. Because I'm now claiming that again, because I haven't been able to find a job. It was all fun, just slowly having my self-esteem siphoned away. Uh, basically I've been forced onto this really stupid fresh start course where the first proper day we had, as a team building exercise, we had to find a way to get all of us to lift a tennis ball. I believe I mentioned this in my Sims episode, but it is it just beggars belief really. It's like, yes, here's a course that will help you find confidence, get back to work and things. And then, yep, lift up this thing with a tennis ball, please. And you can't touch the tennis ball, you have to do it as a team. Team, 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 team. 
I am, I am feeling very bitter about this. It feels like such a waste. Although today was funny. I hear water. Am I near the place where I was murdered? Murdered messily by a creeper. Ooh! Emerald! I had found- oh yes! Yes! This is precisely the ravine where I died. Oh, no, you sodding don't. Nope. Oh, there was iron up there. Yeah, basically, see where that, see where that block of cobble is? That is where the creeper killed me and where I died and God knows where my stuff went. And that's the sort of sissy walk I was telling you about. That's the water that appeared out of nowhere. So I managed to climb up there. And yeah. Brilliant, isn't it? At least I know this way's a dead loss. Let's block that up with gravel. Uh, no, I'm not going to be stupid. Uh, yeah, I will call this one a loss. But at least I have an easier way of getting in there now. So let's carry on this way. I'm just going to record this. I'll keep talking. I know this is boring, but I need to do it. I have to find diamonds. You know, you can't play Minecraft without having at least a diamond sword. And here I am stuck with a stone sword. I could have probably made an iron sword, but... Like I say, logic and me do not get along. And today on the course was, uh, <laughs> it was just one of those days. Yesterday was actually fairly informative and interesting. Today we had to learn how to communicate effectively. So the woman that was doing the course, who was different from the one that got us to do the tennis ball exercise, decided that a good ice breaking thing would be to get us to write communication down. You know, as in like in an acronymical kind of way, and then put words, a word, and basically just kind of make up like a story or something using the letters, using words that spelled communication out. I really don't understand why people find these things. I really don't understand those at all. It just seems ridiculous to me. And I know I'm not being weird. Loads of other people find it stupid as well. I don't know why these things persist. Oh, don't want that. Look at me using fancy words now. Well, look at me, Mrs. Fancy Pants. Actually, I'm not a Mrs. I'm a Miss. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I guess I could kind of talk about the future of my channel a little bit uh, because I've been busy. Things are kind of a bit backed up, but I've got something uploading at the moment. Something that's uploaded. I have a bunch of stuff rendered that I just need to upload. Obviously, this will be going up on Sunday. Um, and I have also downloaded a visual novel that I will be playing at some point in the future probably once I have finished Portal just so that I can knock down I hear lava I'm probably going to need to get another axe it seems that iron axes run out a lot faster than they used to oh come on how far do I have to go before I hit a diamond I should light this place up. Come on, I'm sissying out. I know, but seriously. 
In other worlds I have turned up diamonds easily. Easily like this. I swear with every update they get made more and more rare. I should probably light that up again as well. Just because there's still things spawning in here and do not want to look behind the gravel. Okay. Touche gravel. I had a feeling there might have been love behind you. I do Excuse me one second. Okay, that was one second, I'm now back. Basically seeing if there was anything behind this gravel wall, because it always pays to dig past gravel. I really should have made myself a shovel as well, but again, foresight, I don't have it. I'm slowly gaining it though. And I probably shouldn't bitch about the course too loud, at least it's getting me out and getting me learning stuff. It is just frustrating. All the courses you had to send me on, you had to send me on that. But I guess it's better than just sitting there and vegging out and getting stuck in a rut, stuck in a rut, stuck in a rut. I also apologise for the music being loud, I thought I turned it all down. Super secret settings I am not touching. Nope. Nope. Where's music? Down you go. Done. Back to game. Just seeing if there's anything behind this gravel. If there is not, I'm gonna go back upstairs in disgust and annoyance. Seriously, all I need is three. Seriously, game, is that too much for me to ask for? So much gravel. Honestly, I have no idea where... Nope. Bugger. Oh well, at least I found an emerald. Yay. I don't even know where a village is. Has anyone found a village? And one is kind of useless. Ah damn, there's more coal. <laughs> Let's see, I uh, well at least I've got cobble for days. I can make houses with it. And roads and try and drop it off a spawn or something. Yes? What do you want, kitty? Checking my mic didn't mute itself. Hello, big pig. I'm also joined again by George. George? Do you want to say hello? No. You're just going to make a whistling noise through your nose again. Yes. Back up we go. Well, this was fun. Maybe I should take my chances in the caves. Let's just sleep once more. Head back down. I will probably cut that out. Or probably cut my exploring out. I swore I just had lava. Oh yeah, I accidentally saved a screenshot when I meant to do something else. Stupid sausage fingers. Okay, let's gear up proper. I'm probably going to end up, hollow probably going to end up hollowing out the entirety of this place. 
looking for diamonds. Okay, then we've got a spoon. Let's put some of this cobble in here. I'm going to need to make a new... some more stuff. Some new more stuff, yes! Oh, now you're talking. What are you after? It's half an hour till your dinner, Fatty. You're not getting anything off me, mate. No. Right. Uh, I'm going to go back down the hole. I'm going to go and dig for a while. Uh, I'll bring you back if I find diamond. Okay, I've not found diamond, but I've found a cave of some description. I'm uh, just going to quickly hide back under here. I wonder if I'm under the jungle yet. Let's have a check. Ah, I'm under the river. I don't know what rivers do to mob spawning rates. I can really hear this lava. What I've really been finding is redstone, so I've got half a stack. And we found the lava. But I think I'm now too high up for diamonds. Oh, damn it, didn't want to escape a screenshot. Now I'm up at 12. Well, I know where to come if I want to get obsidian when I have some water and some diamonds with which to farm it. So that was less of a cave, more of a dent. Bugger. Right, let's keep going. I'll keep going until this pick runs out. And there's more lava this way. So I will s see you when I find cave. Well, my pick broke. I am under a jungle hills now. My cat does not sound happy with that. Do you? Hey, why are you being such a grumpy girl? And the only interesting thing I've found is four more iron and and some lapis. Um something I consider interesting but also obscenely dangerous is voila. A lava lake. This will come in useful at some point. I probably have enough probably have enough iron with which to make iron buckets and make a portal on this side of the nether, but to do it on the other side of the nether I will need those three diamonds. Because uh, otherwise it is incredibly impossible to build a nether portal that way. I'm just lighting this place up a little bit more, just in case I want to come back, have an explore, you know, harvest this. See if I can find any diamonds underneath the Underneath the lava? What? Yes, I know! Ten minutes! <coughs> to you as well. I guess he's getting grumpy. He wants food. He wants food and he wants it now, but he can't have it now because it's not his dinner time. Honestly, he tried to say schedule the animals, but they never follow it. You? Ooh! <laughs> I think I'm offending him. Yep, he's, he's come to headbutt my hands. Murray. Yeah, please don't try to knock the laptop off my lap. Oi, mister. Mister. Silly kitten. Okay, well at least the lapis means I can have purple dye. It also means I can finish off my thing and it's dark. There's going to be bad things. Yep, there's a bad thing up there. There's a bad thing there. I need to torch this place. No! Screw 
Screw you, Skelly. There you go, and I slay a skelly at the end. So let's pop this in here, and let's call this an episode. I've got no idea how long I've been recording for, because I've been doing stuff off camera, and that skews my sense of time. But I think this is a decently decent, decent, decent. Let me just put my teeth back in. Decent length episode. So I'm Page of Maces. TTFN.